As body after body is brought back to shore, the death toll from South Korea's ferry disaster has risen to 87, with a further 215 people still missing. Children account for most of those killed or presumed dead after the vessel capsized on a high school outing off the Korean peninsula's southwestern tip last Wednesday. Six crew members have now been detained, as well as the captain seen here who's accused of negligence. In a promotional video four years ago, he hailed the journey as safe, as long as passengers followed the crew's instructions. It's a cruel irony for the families of victims. Witnesses say the ferry turned sharply before it began listing, and that although it took over two hours to fully capsize, passengers were told to stay put in their cabins. The South Korean president has slammed the conduct of some crew members as tantamount to murder. Coast Guard officials say two U.S. underwater drones have now been deployed in the search for bodies.